Hey guys, this is a tutorial to show you how to play one of the easiest types of stocks to play. Uh, I like to call it, me and Tanner call this a 10 and 20 day mover. And that's when you find a stock that's basically creating a pattern that looks like a line that's on an inclined plane. It's moving in an upward direction at some sort of angle. You don't want to find one that's following a line that runs just horizontal uh, from left to right. There needs to be a, a progressive pathway in an upward direction. And you're also looking for it to um, hit or ride its 10 and 20 day moving average. Now, as we look at this particular chart, we're looking at the company called HP, not the computer company. This is Helmerick and Payne. They are an oil and gas company. And what you'll see is, let me zoom in a bit. You'll see that they're actually following its 10 and 20 day moving average. So this yellow line is our 20 day moving average. Our red line is our, our 10 day moving average. And what you'll see is, is as it, it tends to ride the 10 day, sometimes it'll bounce right off the 10. We wouldn't play it when it bounced off the 10. Where we would play it is right here. When it finally broke through the 10 for a correction and bounced off the 20. Because when it bounces off the 20, it'll catch another run up. Okay, so the only time that you want to play this is when it's bouncing off its 20. Now, if you use our minimums uh, scan off of the uh, TC2000 software that uh, we recommend, and you use the easy scan uh, called uh, the minimum scan, where it helps you to find stock, you will find, I guarantee you, you'll find anywhere from 10 to 20 stocks that look exactly like HP does right now. Okay, you just need to make sure two things. Number one, that it's in an incline plane up, it's moving in an upward direction. You don't want it flat, just left and right. And the other thing that you want to be looking for is you need at least a dollar's worth of movement on each particular day. Right now, as I look at this stock, it's currently trading at $106.64. But let's see how much movement in a day. Let's pick a, a shorter day. Let's pick this candle right here. Um, I can see looking at this chart that its high was $99 and its low was $96.86. Well, that's more than a dollar. So it would uh, qualify for one of the stocks that you want to play. And the reason why is because when you go to your option and you buy the option, if the underlying stock moves a dollar, you can have a nice profitable day off of just that day alone if you got in on the bottom and got it out at the top. Okay. So this is a good uh, uh, call play option. Uh, again, you're looking for it to bounce off its 20, and if it's not on its 20, then don't worry. Just keep it on your radar. Uh, make yourself a watch list of all the ones that look exactly like this, and every single day go through them, and sometimes more than once or twice in a day because many times um, you will think that, okay, well, I can't play this stock for the day, and then it moves down and bounces off that position, and you're going, oh, okay, now I can play it. So you'll have to watch them. You may want to set yourself some alerts like we've shown you on some of the other tutorial videos, but that's the way that you play this. You simply play this when you see it hit its 20. So when it came down here, it actually broke the 20, as you can see. Let me zoom in a bit. You can see it actually, according to that wick, broke through the 20 and bounced back up. When it bounced back up, that's probably when I would have bought it, okay? You can see the next day, um, it actually uh, moved against me a little bit, went back through the 20, but almost immediately turned around and went back up. Hit the 10, hit resistance at the 10, stayed there the next day, opened up, shot through the 10 the next day after that. And I would have been able to play this stock for five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 days, maybe two weeks before I finally want to sell out of it. And so that's a lot of movement on this particular stock. This particular day, if I'd have just got in on this day on the 20, it says the low was 96.10 and the high was 98.25. So that's $2 of movement just in this little short stubby candle that times my delta is a nice profitable day. So find one that is in an incline plane upward, has at least a dollar's worth of movement on the day, and uh, make yourself a watch list of, them, uh, of these and then go through them as often as you can.